according to a comparative study between cyclophosphamide and iphosphamide, which published in May 1991 in a peer-reviewed oncology journal, Wollaston Park. The iphosphamide is a newly available analog of cyclophosphamide in oxazephosphorine drug class. Cyclophosphamide has been marketed for 32 years, which means now around 60 years, and it remains a highly effective agent for a wide cross-section of malignancies. Iphosphamide has a similar spectrum of anti-tumor activity, but has different pharmacokinetics that could provide advantages in efficacy. Although iphosphamide has been substituted for cyclophosphamide in many therapeutic regimens, it has not been proven superior to cyclophosphamide in any cancer. The iphosphamide current use in non-investigational therapy is for metastatic testicular carcinoma and sarcomas. Iphosphamide has a disadvantageous toxicity spectrum compared to cyclophosphamide and a greater financial cost. For most malignancies responsive to an oxazephosphorine, the analog of a choice will remain cyclophosphamide. We finally should also know some crucial information pertaining to cyclophosphamide and iphosphamide. When it comes to the cyclophosphamide, while oral and intravenous treatments delivery methods of cyclophosphamide have been shown to be equally effective, the intravenous route is thought to have less toxicity than oral administration. Cyclophosphamide is one of the most successful chemotherapeutics. Cyclophosphamide has proved to be safe and has revealed its many capabilities and versatilities of clinical uses. The cyclophosphamide is cell cycle non-specific alkylating agent that prevents cell division by cross-linking DNA strands and decreasing DNA synthesis. Cyclophosphamide has a potent immunosuppressive activity and it is a prodrug that must be metabolized to active metabolites in the liver. When it comes to the iphosphamide, we should remember that the primary route of administration for iphosphamide is intravenous. The oral form had a bioavailability close to 100% but resulted in severe neurotoxicity and since then, the administration route has switched to intravenous administration. The iphosphamide is emetogenic, hence anti-emetic are routinely prescribed to prevent chemotherapy-induced nausea and vomiting. Precipitation of iphosphamide-induced encephalopathy by a prepotent has been reported in the literature.